Hello and welcome back to Better Minecraft Hardcore. It appears that we have a visitor somewhere around here. Oh yeah, hello there. How are you doing? What do you have to say? Ooh. Yeah, I would do that, but I don't have any emeralds, buddy. So unfortunately, you have something that's more valuable. So goodbye. Yep, bye-bye. Bye, 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 bye. Don't, yep, yep, there we go. Three diamonds, uh, glowstone. Eh, I guess that's okay. Now in today's episode, I want to get upgraded. I want to upgrade all of our gear, our weapons, our tools, our armor, that sort of stuff. Because in the last episode, we kind of got our butts kicked in the nether. And I really want to go back there because I know how we can... That's creepy. Because I know how we can actually be successful and get the blaze blood that we need. But, like I said, we need better gear. So that is what we will be focusing on today. And I've done a bunch of research, as you can see right here. Are you guys just going to be there the whole episode? Oh yeah, I guess I should mention that the majority of the stuff that we will be making is from Tigger's Construct. And also in between episodes, I made a little bit of cleaning up. Uh, I did a little bit of cleaning up. As you can see, there's a lot of drawers here. That's because I've taken out all the valuable stuff from our story system and put it right here on the wall itself. Much more accessible together with the Tinker smeltery. Another issue that I intend to fix today is food, because right now I only have these apples, and that's not good. Also, I believe I do have an extra, yes, I do have an extra totem of undying, so we're good right there. So yeah, food is an issue, and armor and weapons is another issue. Now remember how I transferred my enchantments from my Iron from my leather armor to my iron armor. I believe I used books and a grindstone And apparently a book is not what comes up when you search book, but anyways, it appears that I need paper and Leather I don't know. Well, I do have leather right outside my door I do have the leather that I need I do want to make an enchantment table at some point But I just don't have enough resources at the moment to be able to make a fully 30 level enchantment table and I believe I can do this Perfect. Nice. And then, if I go ahead and get some diamonds real quick, and I go ahead and make some diamond armor, I will have to use some levels for this, but... It'll definitely be worth it, except that I don't quite have enough yet. So it looks like I'll have to go out in the night when night strikes, which won't be too for too long. Next issue I need to solve is my food problem. And in fact, it's a bit of a big problem. Now I know I do have a huge village up there, which I might have to go ahead and see if they have any farms. I do not recall. So I'll go ahead and do that just before night time. Then I'll be able to sleep up there and I should be safe at all times. But I do want to expand my own farm into something a little bit more close to home here and also a little bit better. And this is my final piece of fruit right there. I don't have much other food than that. Oh, hey, buddy. I'm yeah, not gonna bother you. Now, I don't think these guys actually have any farms, but they might have carrots and potatoes in their chests, which I might have skipped during my first looting trip. Well, they have bread, so I guess I'll... <laughs> I guess I'll uh, take that. Remember, these guys have already said that I can take whatever I need to survive here, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, I just found a hidden compartment here. Does this not look like a portal to you? Uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask questions here. They unfortunately don't have any farms. I'm wondering if the pillage outpost will have any food like potatoes or carrots that I can farm, but I need to upgrade my gear first before I can take on that. So I'm gonna wait for night time, take out a few zombies, get the levels that I need to get my arm up, and then we will be able to head back and focus on the tools and weapons. Maybe this is a bad idea looking at that zombie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ignore him. Oh dear, uh, that's not good. Hopefully you're not part of this village. Okay, those these guys look like they mean business. Yep, these guys are enchanted. I am a little bit scared. Should be able to do this though. Oh boy. Well, that's not gonna get me levels now, is it, Creeper? 11 levels, I definitely have enough now to... Ow. To get less protection on my stuff now. Which, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and use the anvil right now. Whoa! Yeah! That's not fair! Night complete, but unfortunately, no carrots or potatoes. However, there are plenty of juicy apples here, which I will definitely take. All right, time for plan B. 
I've cleared out an area, gonna place down some water and go out, I believe, four in each direction. Then hoe this entire ground, and then I'll be able to seed all of this wheat. And as I have more seeds, I might as well keep going. Two, three, four. Hoe. Water. Hoe. And that's all the wheat seeds that I have. I do, however, have a bunch of bones, and I can just keep right clicking. This is amazing. And done. I think hopefully that will be my food problem solved for now. Now it's time to do some more tinkering. Now I have done some research and we're about to make a bunch of tools. I want to make a pickaxe because, well, we need a pickaxe. I also want to make a sword, but I also want to make a tool called the mattock. This is basically made out of a pickaxe head and a small axe head and this from my understanding, should work as a shovel slash axe. So I have looked at the resources, and the first thing we're going to be making is a sword. Now we're not going to be making an Eternium sword from better end. We are going to be making we're going to be making it a little bit different. So I have looked through all of the different materials that we have available and chosen what I believe is going to be the best. So starting off with the tool handle, we have a sin sinusite tool handle. The reason I why I've picked this is because durability is times 1.1 and attack speed is a little bit higher and being a sword we do want attack speed being higher. Now for the blade we have two options here. We have moonstone which we do actually have which I didn't know we had and we also have dragon bone. Now both of these are pretty good. Attack damage is 4 on the moonstone and attack damage is 3.5 on the dragon bone sword. So the moon sword is a little bit better. Mining speed and mining level is the same, but again, this is not a pickaxe. Plus the durability is higher on the moonstone, so I believe that we will be taking and making a moonstone sword. Now the moonstone, uh, where do we have that? There we go, moon crystal. I am dumb. We do not have moonstone. In fact, we have moon crystal. <laughs> Which is not at all the same. I was sure that we had moonstone. Have I really not found any moonstone down below? Well, this complicates things a bit. Alright, I have looked through the materials and it looks like dragon bone will be the best for a blade. So I guess we will just have to go ahead and do that. We do have eight dragon bone. Hopefully that'll be enough. Uh... Yep, two. That's actually not too bad of a cost. Now, the only thing that is better that we can actually do is emerald, but I do not want the barterable effect that the this thing has. I don't want this out here. So, yeah, dragon bone it is. And it appears that I don't even need to smelt it or anything. Boom. All right, that is two of the components then. Not too bad. I guess moonstone material will have to wait until we find the right moonstone and not moon crystal. Next, however, is the tool handle, which is Sinsenite, 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 Sin, whatever it's called, which I did get a bunch of in the last episode from the Nether. I think I should just be able to add one. I don't know how many I'll need. It also appears that I do need a normal tool handle from the stone. There we go. And molten Sinsen, Sinsa. What's it called? Sinsinocyte. Sinsinocyte. Aha. Got it, Sincinocyte. But now with that, we should have all the materials that we need in order to craft a sword. Where is it? That is. Oh, we don't even need a tool binding for the sword. Well, that's good. There we go. Our second Sincinocyte. Oh man, that's a mouthful. But now we can go ahead and make our sword. So that is durability 1,936, attack damage is 7.5, which is the same as a diamond sword, attack speed is 1.7, our Iron Sword is 1.6, Mining Speed is 4, Upgrade 3, Abilities 1. And due to the this being a small blade, we have Fragmented has a chance to embed a bone shot into a mob dealing damage over time. But I'm wondering, since we're able to use two different tool handles here, I wonder if we could do something else that potentially adds even more... Okay, well, we can't do Moonstone tool handle but that adds even more durability. I should say either more durability or more attack speed. Rose gold does look interesting, however, it does decrease the durability, I think, but I do have some rose gold, so I think I do want to try this out just to compare and see the difference here. All right, molten rose gold. Molten rose gold selected. There we go. So if I go ahead and add this, all right, 
So durability has decreased a lot. Attack damage has decreased. Attack speed has increased. Wait, so, okay. I'm very confused about these numbers. The higher the number, the better? Because here, at Iron Sword, oh, the higher number is better. Okay, so this would just make it even even faster, but also give it more upgrades. However, the durability is not the greatest. Uh, now I'm in doubt. Do I go with this or do I go with this? I'm going to potentially use this on a pickaxe. I'm not sure, um, but I think I'm going to use this right here. Yep. There we go. We have made a dragon bone sword. And it's okay fast, you know. Let's compare, so... Yeah. It is actually a little bit faster than the iron sword. That's a huge upgrade in of itself. Now, if I wanted to, I could replace one of the handles with the rose gold. So let me know if you think I should do that down below in the comments. Now, I'm pretty sure that I can go ahead and use a diamond modifier on this, which would use one of the upgrades, but it would massively increase the attack damage, the mining speed, and also the durability, which I think will most definitely be worth it. So we're gonna use an upgrade on this. And it has been made modification. Now I do know of another modification where we can add quartz to this, which will increase the sharpness. As you can see, that takes an upgrade and attack damage goes up by one, which would make the sword even more deadly. However, I don't know if this is the upgrade that I want to use. Now I'm gonna do it. There we go, we have one more upgrade to spend. Now you guys will have to help me out down below in the comments because the Tinker's Construct that I'm used to, you can actually add more upgrades to your tools, but I don't know if that is still in this version. So if you know about that, please don't let me know down below in the comments, and if so, how? But for now, I am actually really happy with this sword. We'll have to test it at night time. Next, however, is the pickaxe, but I will need to take a look at the pickaxe heads again because... Well, can't really use Moonstone now, can we? Now, I think a Dragonbone pickaxe hit is probably going to be the best thing we can do. It has pretty good mining speed. I don't think anything really has a higher mining speed that we are able to get our hands on. So I think Dragonbone pickaxe hit it is. Yep. Not too bad. Now I've picked out a few tool handles. Now we will only be able to use one on the pickaxe, unfortunately. So we need to choose either Sinsonite, Sin, 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 you know what, forget it. Which would increase the durability and attack speed. Or the Tinker's Bronze tool handle, which would mainly increase the mining speed and the durability. And then we got the Hepatistan. Why, why with the, why with these names? We got the Hepatistan. Tool handle, which increases the durability, slightly decreases the attack damage, but I don't care, and increases the mining speed. So that will definitely be the handle for the pickaxe. Question is, how do we make this? Molten copper, molten cobalt, and molten quartz. That should be doable. I have plenty of quartz. I have plenty of copper. I also have cobalt, and I'll just need a block of quartz as well, which was even cheaper than I expected. Our first cobalt we're smelting. We will hopefully in the future be able to use this to make a manual and later down the road. But for now, oh boy, I really hope this stuff doesn't mix. But here we go. And we made more rose gold. Uh, okay, so we have molten co- wow. Okay, molten cobalt. Wait, how am I even? We need two ingots of molten copper, one ingot of cobalt and one block of quartz. So we have one block of quartz, we have two ingots of cobalt. I need one more ingot of copper because I accidentally turned it into rose gold. Hi, hi, hi. And am I doing something wrong here? Are you actually kidding me? I need blazing blood. Why? Okay. I guess I need blazing blood to make that. What else can I do? All right. You know what? This is what we're gonna do. For now, we will make a sin sin site tool handle, and we'll use that. And well, in the future, we can always upgrade the tool handle to something else. I do, however, want to make a rose gold tool binding because I have a theory. Tool handle, boom, sleep, done. Okay, I want to test a few things. So if we go ahead and take the pickaxe here, so pickaxe head, rose gold tool handle, and Cincinnati tool handle. So what do we get? A pickaxe durability of 1760, attack speed, mining, attack damage, doesn't really matter. Mining speed is eight, 
Mining level is netherite, which is perfect. Upgrades are four. So if I upgraded this, so we get le one less upgrade. But the durability does go up. But I think I would rather have the extra upgrade, to be honest. Dragonbone pickaxe. Not too shabby. And I do believe that we can use a diamond and upgrade it. Yep. Mining speed even goes up more. So let's go ahead and do that. Now with Tinker's Construct, I do believe there is redstone you can add uh, and lapis as well. Lapis for fortune, redstone for efficiency, I think. I might remember wrong. Haste, it does increase the mining speed and uses one upgrade, of course. Okay, 45 redstone, just like that. Mining speed from nine to 14. Yes, please. So we have two more upgrades and like I said, I believe you can use lapis and get fortune. No. Okay. That must be different than now. I don't know what else I should add to this pickaxe, but safe to say that our iron pickaxe are now officially retired. Look at this thing. It looks cool. Now the final thing to make is the mattock, which for that, we need a pickaxe head and an axe head. So I don't want to be using dragon's bones for that. So I need to find something else I can use. It doesn't have to be great since it's just a matter, but it will be replacing our axe. So maybe a cobalt axe head is not going to be too bad of an idea. Yeah, we want all these types of different materials like moonstone, maniolin. I can't wait till we can actually get our hands on that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do cobalt axe head and cobalt pig axe head. First, I gotta empty the forge as much I can, as, as much as I can though. So cobalt axe head, cobalt pig axe head, since I tool handle, actually scratch that, we will be using rose gold tool handle, like so. Boom. Already have two ingots of cobalt. I'm hoping that's enough. We do have 13 cobalt ore though, so we should have plenty and we'll be able to find plenty more in the future. All right, we got the pickaxe head. I'm hoping two ingots is enough. Yes, perfect. That does mean we do need to smelt some more cobalt. There we go. And I do have more gold as well, so I can put this in, get the gold cast. I'm going to select the quartz and get that in there. Get the axe head. And we should now have everything we need in order to make a cobalt matter. And the durability is horrible. What happened here? <laughs> okay, so the durability is 600. Mining speed, though, is fast. So, you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'll take it. And then we're gonna put this back in here because definitely we're gonna upgrade it with some diamond. Get the durability up quite a bit. I don't know what else we can add to increase durability. You guys will have to help me out down below in the comments because I don't know what else we can add to increase the durability maybe this is all we can do but mining speed is already pretty good so i think this is at a pretty good state we can upgrade it more but i'm gonna save that until we actually need to so for now that is our tools well upgraded so like i said the mattox should be able to be used hopefully not as a pickaxe no but yes it works as a shovel perfectly fine question is can it hoe it can't well no, because it's a shovel, so that wouldn't make sense. But I should be able to chop trees with this. Yep, perfect speed as well. Not too slow, not too fast. And of course the pickaxe is, well, a pickaxe, but let's test that in its actual environment, which is down the mine shaft. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna complain there. And then we do sometimes get a random boost of haste which I'm not sure from where, but it's from one of the one of the modifiers we added. Yeah, this is not too bad at all. I'm actually quite happy with this. And the cool thing is, these will never break. They can go down in durability completely, but from my understanding, they will never break. So we can always repair them. Now, with all that done and said, there are things that we can do, such as modifiers, which there's a whole page of right here, such as auto smelt. We can make this and we can put it on anything and that tool will automatically smelt for example any ore that it mines we can also get haste modifier and fire protection all sorts of modifiers that does however require one ability slot and we should have yep we do have one ability slot on each of these tools so let me know down below in the comments as well I'm asking, I'm asking a lot of you guys today, but yeah, let me know down below in the comments, which modifiers you think I should add on these tools. Cause there is a lot. Unbreakable is cool, but yeah, 
we don't really have any of that stuff. However, it is getting night time, so I think it is time that we test our sword and then we farm our farm. My first test subject has arrived. I really should get rid of some of this grass around here. Oh yeah. Oh wow, this thing packs a punch. Now, I can't really see that well around here, but... Yep. Oh, how dare you, stupid zombie. I hear a spider. Come and get me. Oh yeah, this thing is great and I see more zombies coming. Right this way, folks. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. Nice. I would say Operation Upgrade Tools and Armor has been a great success. Now one thing that we are definitely missing is a bow. Wait, hold on. I see a bow. Hunting. You know what? That's better than no enchantments. All I have though are five arrows. I do however have 27 flint and no feathers. That's an issue. Just before we end today's episode I want to check if there are any chickens in the nearby vicinity that I can potentially get some feathers from. I guess I should be killing these skeletons as well for more arrows. I haven't found any chickens but I have found something else that has kind of terrified me. What on earth is that this thing whatever it is is absolutely ginormous and also floating look at that i don't even think i'm ready to take that on whatever it is with my current equipment even though we just upgraded everything i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that for another day <laughs> same goes for those chickens they will have to wait because apparently they're hiding from me i'll get them one day i just picked up a maggot that is Disgusting. Well, maggots aside, let's harvest the wheat that we can. Speaking of wheat, if you haven't checked out my second channel yet, I highly recommend that you do because I play farming simulator over there. So if that interests you, definitely go ahead and check that out. Link down below in the description. I'm really enjoying that series. So if you want content that is not Minecraft, but still is still in the same style, don't hesitate to check it out. But with that said, we now have 61 wheat and that was not even, I'd say half of the field harvested. Not too bad at all. So guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. We did a lot of progress. We made a farm, we upgraded our tools and armor, and in the next episode we'll be using some of this stuff up here, in fact all of this stuff up here, to hopefully be able to get blazing blood. Now emphasis on hopefully, because uh, things could go very wrong very quickly. But that's it for this episode. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you do, do consider hitting the subscribe button and enabling those notifications. Also check out my Patreon page, link down below in the description if you're interested. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. <laughs>